So all of this has become a massive talking point, which is great for me. I can put on my shoes and we can dive on into it. Because if you have been keeping stock about all the wrestling weekend activities, you know that Drew McIntyre lived up to his promise. He did win the Men's Money in the Bank briefcase. And yeah, he was not standing on ceremony here, Mr. Wayne, because he cashed it in. He really wants to be the World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe a little too much. Certainly he shouldn't have done this because CM Punk at some point in the day had gone well. If that is his plan, I better hide under the ring so I can screw him over. When you think about it, it is quite funny. What if McIntyre had decided he didn't want to do this? Punk would have just been living under the squared circle. So that would have been embarrassing and there definitely is some rage here. But look, the bottom line is WWE did just screw Drew McIntyre again. And why? Here's why. So we'll address the major issue first and foremost. Some people have just decided, well, CM Punk has done this on a lot of other pay-per-views, premium live events, and now it's just a tad bit boring. Because we saw this at WrestleMania, then we saw it at Castle the Castle, then we saw it at Money in the Bank 2024. Although, to be fair to Punk, he must have remembered the best thing come in threes. So now he has gone uno, dos, tres. So I do sort of get why some people are fed up with it, which is a lie. I don't understand it at all. But I get the kicker here. The kicker comes in the fact that now the men's money in the bank briefcase isn't in play anymore. This is where I'm going to put on my judge uniform, which I would do literally if I had one. And I am just going to play defense for this whole shabacle for just one second. One, I do believe doing this makes the Drew McIntyre and CM Punk feud a hell of a lot better. Because ever since that pay-per-view, McIntyre went nuts, if you've seen all the post-show stuff, and he was throwing people around, he accidentally, maybe on purpose, elbowed Adam Pearce in the face, and looked at a camera lens like I'm doing now and said, CM Punk, I know where your family lives. Listen. That's illegal. Now, Adam Pearce, being the general manager of Raw ever since on social media, has suspended Drew. He's like, you can't put your hands on me. And in retaliation, Drew McIntyre called him bald. I was like, listen, Drew, I'm a big fan of you. And that rhymes so you know it's true, which also rhymes, but we'll stop it there. Some of us can't help it. It's called Mother Nature. I'm glad he screwed you. And the only way the Scottish warrior can justify being this nuts is if his briefcase has totally gone. Because if he still was in possession of it, he can be like, well, <laughs> that CM Punk is a bit annoying, but I still have my golden goose. No, we had to take the golden goose and boot it out the window. Bah. When we get to number two, who else was going to win? Because I would absolutely loved it if it had been Carmelo Hayes, but he's not going to become WWE champion within the next year. Chad Gable is going to have to deal with the Wyatts, and they still have a... Sneaky suspicion he will win the Intercontinental title soon. LA Knight wants to go and beat Logan Paul to win the US belt. Andrade, <laughs> come on now. And then there's Jey Uso and that one is totally fair. I would have done the Dance of Joy if Jey Uso had won the money in the bank. I mean, yeah, maybe we should have done that, but we did It does tie into number three, though, because I believe the two champions we're going to have for a long old while is Cody Rhodes, and he is not losing that championship on a cash-in, and Gunther from SummerSlam onwards. And we've seen how Triple H likes to book the ring general. I don't think he's going to get dicked over because somebody's got an inanimate object. In fact, that's probably the last thing in WWE's head. So even if Jey Uso had gone and won this ladder match, he would have had to have a failed cash-in. And unless you are an obnoxious heel, that never works. And it makes all your fans look at you like, why, Jay? Why weren't you able to do it? You know what? I turn my back to you. Apparently, literally. So I can only imagine that the powers that be looked at all this and said, well, why don't we take this prop and use it to heat up one of the best stories in the company? That's what they did. Bravo. I'm also a big believer in making sure that we do do different things with Money in the Bank every single year. And over the last 12 months, we did have Damien Priest going, oh, I'm going to do it now. No, I'm not. I should do it now, but I've decided against it. Oh my God, I forgot to cash in my Money in the Bank briefcase. So let's not go back to those shenanigans. Therefore, doing all of the above just makes so much sense to me. It is two plus two equals four. And then there's the extra good caveat that now the women's Money in the Bank briefcase, which is still alive, well, that could be the main focal point. I mean, so many times that has vanished almost instantly. And even if you go back to 2023 when EO Sky was able to climb that ladder, she had cast it in by SummerSlam. So that's like one month. Now, that is not going to be the case in 2024. And given that we did give it to Tiffany Stratton, she can be so good with this, especially when it comes to her character. And if the idea behind it is to elevate you as a star, well, it's looking at you right in the face. So yes, I just think there's way more pluses than there are negatives. And it has made CM Punk vs. Drew McIntyre into a proper feud. This is when we switch over to becoming Teacher Simon. 
factors. Go and look up what the definition of the word feud is. To be engaged in a bitter quarrel or dispute. So once again, if you want to come into my house and say, huh, well, when I think about it now, having that information in my brain, CM Punk and Drew is actually one of the only feuds in all of wrestling that deserves such a title. Yes, I would agree with you too. I mean, bitter isn't even the right word. They want to kill each other. It's also totally justified on Drew's side, even though he's meant to be the bad guy. Because look at the hell he's been dragged through. And if we are going to pull the trigger on this at SummerSlam, you don't need the championship. There's loads of intrigue here. Whereas if we do do, there's the doo doo for the comment Damian Priest versus Gunther at Hot WrestleMania. Well, having the World Heavyweight Championship in that one actually makes it more intriguing. So if I am sat atop of the creative tree and I have these two options, of course that's what I'm going to do. It will make my big event better. And for some reason too, I find it harder to pick between CM and Drew and who gets the W if the title isn't on the line. I don't know why that is the case, but it's what my brain does do. Then I assume we get to something like Bad Blood and they can have a super duper mega stipulation match. And then eventually, if you do want to throw the title into this, why the hell not? It does mean though, if you do want to stretch this out, which I presume a lot of us want to see, you have to make sure the foundations have some proper depth. And the way you do that is by taking a gimmick that everybody is used to and using it to fuel the fires. So once again, I say bravo. I also think it's massively overlooking how greatly WWE has operated here. Because for the majority of this year, CM Punk has been injured for a little while. Drew McIntyre was hurt as well. But you would never know it from watching the TV. Because Triple H and all of his minions have come up with a way to just keep going with this story. Even though they never actually fight after a ding ding. I mean, it really has been a masterclass in how to use injured wrestlers. Because half the time, somebody will get hurt. And you're looking around going, well, where the hell did they go? Who is Cotton Eye Joe? And if we really do get a good payoff at Hot WrestleMania 2, I will be behind this easy even further because all wrestling actually needs to make me do is when I switch off the TV I search my tum tum and go I really want to watch the next episode that's all it is it's just a prolonged television series also I love the fact that WWE is throwing everything at this don't be scared don't be a wet William I want you to dive in face turf and go ha ha you know what we're gonna do we're gonna take the money back briefcase and we're gonna burn it you should go around and burn other things too that is the way to get it done also have you seen how quickly time moves recently you're gonna be blinking and it will be money back to that 2025, and then we can get back to making new stars. You'll have more greys in the beard, and then everyone will be sad, and you will be longing for 2024 money in the bank. Think of that. But to me, screwing Drew McIntyre over and over again to make sure this did head in the right direction should be right at the top of the board, along with the likes of Cody Rose has to be our super duper mega babyface champion, and Gunther, well, he has to be turned into a machine. So I say kudos to WWE for sticking with this with such intensity, and again, Am I ready and willing to watch this match? I cannot wait. And when they are looking at each other from across the ring, I'm just going to be all kinds of crazy. If I have to bet on this thing, well, I'm going to lose a lot of money. I can't call it. It also underlines why Adam Pearce would be so bad. They totally screwed up a pay-per-view that he had a hand in just because they can't control themselves. So they're kids. And speaking of that, I just think too many times WWE has handled this kind of stuff with kid gloves we kind of tiptoe around it. I don't want that anymore. I want people to take risks. And even if we look back and go, oh, it absolutely sucked. Well, I still appreciate you seeing where it was going to go. You just have to have the courage in your convictions and you have to have some heat in your upper card feuds. There's that word again. And when it comes to CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre, let me just go through my brain file effects. Nope. I don't think anyone's got more craziness than those two have. It's all because of shib like this. So I say long may it continue, but of course you are screaming at your YouTube screen right now. So get in those comments below and just say, Simon, this is why you're wrong. <laughs> you can list out your bullet points. And listen, I'll definitely look at them. I always do. I'm that guy. Also, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And bam, you could watch my ups and downs for Money in the Bank 2024 and get all of my opinions. But otherwise, my friends, you take care of yourselves. Go have a nice bath. That's right, and relax and be clean. It's always nice to be clean and put bath salts in there, smell nice. I don't know what we're talking about. I'm off to have a bath. Goodbye.